contact. Now that you have outlined what an amazing addition you will be to any potential companies that happen across your portfolio, they need to know how to get in touch with you. That's where a contact section comes in. In this video, we will be outlining the relevant information to include in your contact section and what information to avoid. Begin by creating a call to action at the top of the page, a small prompt to convince the audience to reach out right away based on the contents of your whole portfolio. One short sentence or even something small like get in touch or let's get to work. We want any employers to be able to get in touch, but we don't want to give too much information that it can become a privacy concern. As your portfolio is hosted online for anyone to see, we don't want to give away too many personal details. You don't need to include a copy of your resume or a detailed address. Generally speaking, an email address is really the only information someone would need to get in touch with you, but it's also common to provide a telephone number and any links to relevant social platforms such as LinkedIn or Behance. Anything other than that is probably redundant. Many portfolio platforms have a contact form template that allows any interested parties to contact you directly without even revealing your personal email. This is the most secure option. The form will allow any interested parties to include their contact information and a brief message about what they're looking for from you. Even if you have a contact form, some people still include their email address, as some employers prefer to get in touch that way. However you lay out your contact page, the end goal is the same. You want your portfolio as a whole to be so enticing that potential employers reach out right away, so remember to include a call to action and at least one way to easily get in touch. In the next video, we will learn about the steps to publishing your portfolio page.